Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I want to introduce you to the go-to antenna. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So first, I got to say thanks to TN07.com for sponsoring this video in celebration of uh, me passing 15,000 subscribers. And also want to say thanks to you guys who tune in each week. Now this is a really cool little antenna, specifically designed for HOAs, but as you can see, it packs up really, really small. It is a bit on the heavy side. I'll have to weigh this and put the weight right across the screen, but this is a really cool little antenna that you can take with you pretty much anywhere. So let's go ahead and show you guys how this thing sets up, how it's designed to kind of stay hidden inside of an HOA, uh, if you, you know, if you do live inside of an HOA, and I think you guys are really gonna like this little antenna. Let's get to it. Okay, so before we jump into the setup, let's take a look at what the package includes. And honestly, guys, it includes every single piece you're going to need. So over here, you will see the ground rods, and there's gonna be two of these included with the kit. These are going to be necessary for mounting all of the components. To go along with that, you've also got a driver. It's got the nice reflective tape, so if you happen to drop it in the dark, uh, shining a flashlight around, we'll go ahead and uh, be re this will be reflective so you can easily find it in the dark. But it's just a handy driver that we can use to drive the ground rods in. It includes a section of coax, and this is a really high quality uh, section of coax, and it comes from the wire man, but it is included in every single package. Now, in addition to that, you're going to find the matching device. And the matching device is what's going to be your primary element, and there is kind of a secondary element that goes along with this as well. To mount to the top of the matching device, we have a 17 foot telescopic whip. So this will be mounted up on top of it. And you guys will see all of this when we start setting everything up. Then there is also an additional radiating element that is here. So all of this is included in with the package. So you don't have to bring anything outside of what's rolled up into this bag with you when you go out to activate. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up and put it on an analyzer. It is supposed to be resonant six meters through 80 meters with uh, less than two to one SWR across the bands. Okay, so as you can see, it is fairly quick and simple to set up. We need to drive the two ground rods into the ground and then go ahead and attach the matching device along with the telescoping whip. Uh, extend that fully all the way up, attach the coax, and we're done. If you weren't trying to film this while you were doing it, you could probably have this up and running in less than 10 minutes. So really quick to get on the air. Now I do wanna show you guys one more thing uh, before we jump over and take a look at the antenna analyzer. So this is one of the most clever parts of this antenna. You may be thinking, a birdhouse? How is that clever? Well, it acts as a disguise inside of an HOA. And the way it works is when you get the antenna, let me see if I can get this thing off here because it is kind of tight. When you get the antenna, it comes with these little discs that have a hole cut out of them. So you can glue it to whatever type of birdhouse, bird feeder, bird bath, insect box, whatever else you can come up with. Your imagination is the only limit. 
and you can have one of these for both ends of this antenna. So when you're done operating at the end of the day, it takes about, I don't know, two minutes to pull the telescoping whip down, pull the matching device off, and put a birdhouse on top. The base of your antenna is always there, always ready to go, but nobody in the HOA is going to be upset if you got a couple of birdhouses hanging out in your backyard. Okay, so here's a look at the analyzer. Now I've got the Nano VNA set to sweep from 29.7 megahertz all the way down to 3.6 megahertz. And as you can see, guys, there's nothing on the screen higher than two to one. Really about where I've got it sitting right now, uh, the cursor, you'll see it right here in the corner. Uh, that's indicating a 1.71 uh, to one SWR. Now I'm just going to go all the way back over to the very bottom end of this, uh, somewhere down around 3.6. And let's take a look at what the SWR is there. So uh, that is, actually that's at like 4 megahertz. That's not even in the ham band. And we're still only at like 1.77 to 1. So as you can see, this thing will work pretty much anything you would want to work in the HF bands. And you can do it all with no tuner and have an SWR of less than 2 to 1. Now, how can you get your hands on this antenna? Well, there's two different ways. Uh, one, you can contact TN07.com direct and go ahead and purchase the GoTo antenna. The other way though, is leave your call sign down in the comments below and that will get you entered for the giveaway of this antenna. I'll leave the contest open for the next seven or eight days. Then we'll close it up and we'll use a random comment picker to choose the winner of the GoTo antenna. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed a look at the GoTo antenna. This really is a sharp all-in-one kit that you can grab and go at any time. We'll see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3.